I just can't imagine what the firefighters were thinking in 1920 when this rolled onto the scene. They must have really thought that they haven't arrived. And when you look at them, you can't help but think that this is as much art as it is function. Although, you know, I don't think the firefighters thought that back in the day. They, they wanted something that worked. Our uh, fire truck is a 1920 Seagrave, that's the brand name. Times were changing and it was certainly an innovation. We're talking about coming from horse-drawn fire engines. Although they had a system to rapidly harness the horses, um, they didn't have to rely on that anymore. It has a 750 gallon a minute pump. That was a sizable pump for that era. Given the idea right now that most of our trucks are a thousand gallons, it was an unbelievable innovation. Cleveland School was a small country school about five miles east of where we're standing. A lot of schools were built using the same blueprints, if you will, so a lot of schools around looked almost identical to this one. The night of the event, they were having a play that was going to close the school year. It was actually the last time that that school was going to be used. About 9 p.m., a lantern fell on the stage and the stage caught on fire. There was only one stairwell, one, one escape route out of the second floor. The doors opened inward. Those two things have really had an effect on today's coach. In the rush of the people trying to get out of the upstairs, there was 77 people out of this community that died, a lot of children. People rushed off to try to call for help. And a couple things hindered the folks. Most of the people from the neighborhood and the surrounding areas uh, were at the play. So the homes were locked up. There was certainly quite a delay notifying the only fire department that was in the town or in the county, but they eventually they did get word to the Camden Fire Department and they responded this truck out to the scene. The accounts say that uh, when the Camden Fire Truck got there, it was simply rubble and ashes. They used a lot of private homes as morgues. They didn't have the facilities to handle that many people. A church nearby, they have a mass grave where those that could not be identified were buried together. Just about every family in our community was affected by that fire. 77 people out of this community in a small community in rural South Carolina died all at one time. It made headlines in every major newspaper in this country. Out of this tragedy, people wanted change and they wanted to try to prevent this from happening ever again. So there was a concerted effort to bring awareness and to get the legislature to focus attention on what could be done to prevent these type of tragedies in the future. The bright side is we don't know how many lives were saved as a result of new code that were put into place because of the awareness that was raised because of this tragedy. A lot of times we don't learn our lesson or it gets pushed to the background. It's our job as the fire professionals to try to make sure this is on the forefront of people's mind. When we have events such as Firefest and other events like that, we always make sure that the Cleveland School Fire is well represented and people are just naturally drawn to it and it gives us a chance to talk about fire and life safety when they come to see the truck. A lot of these precious pieces that serve their community get parted out or go to the scrap yard. So we're very fortunate that the folks before us had enough foresight to make sure that this one was kept and uh, stored, although it was very forgotten for 30 years. I think they're beautiful. They're absolutely, I mean, they're, they're a work of art. I hope it never leaves here. Have you driven it yet? You have? I've never driven it. <laughs> I have never driven it. It's only because of circumstance. I, mean, I, I don't want to push anybody else out of the way, but uh, I don't know, did, did, have all of y'all driven it? No? So I guess you wouldn't call it a rite of passage, but uh, maybe it should be. <laughs>